there is no way Haruhime and Mikoto are actually dead, right? That much you wouldn't kill off characters like that, right? Right? I'm just waiting for the plot armor to kick in, but I don't think it's gonna kick in. Let's see what's gonna happen today's episode. Remember, five minute nap. Hold up for five minutes. Easier said than done, huh? <laughs> There's no way Ryu's gonna die. There's some death legs. Oh, oh, that sound. It's the skull sheep again, right? Yep, yep. There's how many? Three of them again? Bruh. Bruh. Oh, she's standing on her leg. Oh. Oh, those things are really fast. Yeah. Oh. Incredible aim and actually killed it. What? There's two more. Bell, Bell, Bell. Hello? Oh my gosh. She's, this is like a broken leg too, right? She really took two out like that. That's crazy. Okay, Ryu. Bell, Bell. 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 Okay, what a cool line. Dreaming. Whenever we have flashbacks, that's not a good thing. Flashbacks are usually like the precursor to death. And with, you know, Ryu saying, I must you know, keep him alive at no cost. I I don't have a good feeling about this. I don't have a good feeling about this. Is Ryu actually going to sacrifice herself? That would be insane. But maybe? Okay, we're back here. Dude, she really caused Haruhime to die. Obviously not directly. But all she was doing is monologuing while that thing shot at us. And then look, see, get out of here. Let's get out of here. What are you doing? And then Harumi has to come clutch. Yo, Cassandra's pissing me off. And then this is a direct hit. What kind of plot armor could kick in? Does Harumi have some kind of revival passive endure? Like you get hit by a lethal move, you survive with one HP. And then this is where we go berserk and irrationally approach it. But when we attack like this, it doesn't go well. Because now we lost our composure. Off your fucking neck. <laughs> I like it when she swears. Bro, that axe ain't doing shit. What's oh, gone? Where, where, where? Underneath or above? Is it gonna do the WWE shit again? Where'd it go? Underneath, okay. Last episode when it went out the waterfall, <laughs> it came down from the top rope. That shit was crazy. So wait, it's gonna pop off from the ground somewhere. There it is. And big guy. I think big guy's done. Ah, does anyone have some kind of crazy last attack? Big guy, what are you doing? Big guy, that's a that's a that's a lot of injuries on you. Is he? What is he doing? Do you have some kind of ultimate technique that we don't know? This kind of feels like his last stand. I don't know. Wait, from the water, what was that purple? Miko? Close gravity magic? I don't know. Ice sword again, right? Okay. Above this time. But what was in the water there? You saw some purple circles, right? Isn't that Mikoto's gravity magic spell color? No more magic sword. Is that done? Is that our last magic sword? Mikoto from, from below. She, she, she's still getting bit by it. Oh my god. Bro, Mikoto MVP. Right now she's doing she is carrying so hard. But Big Guy knew that she was down below and ready to do the synchro attack. Kudos to him too. Also, we can't really... These, like, she gotta do the incantation, but obviously she can't speak on the water, so I guess all you gotta do is think in your head. Now, nah, I'm just waiting for how do you need to come out of nowhere. Where is she? How does she... How can she survive? I can't tell what's happening. Because it's like gravity attack, so is he gonna jump down and attack down? But then if she pulls him, it's even more damage? Big guy, can you really chop these... Floor boss's heads off though? If this works, if this works, then maybe we can actually get out of here, but this look at her still holding on while getting bitten like that. Oh, it's letting go actually. It's letting go. Because the gravity is so strong, it's a 
I guess it doesn't affect her the same way, huh? Unless it does. If I sacrifice my life, you don't sacrifice your life. Like you know how the different fish there disintegrated from the gravity pressure? Isn't that like affecting her too? What? Haruhime? 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh wait, can the Haruhime? But how? What? Her robe? How does she survive? I can't really tell what's going on, but the flames don't affect her. Let it burn to a crisp. I'm not sure if what she wore protected her, but is this a new power or just the AOE buff again to everybody? Out of nowhere. It looks like we're making a comeback, huh? Dude, I'm still worried about Mikoto down below, though. So he is doing a, like a top-down attack with Mikoto's combo attack. Is it enough though? Wait! I underestimated this dude, huh? Really? I Did you see how he was trying to smack that thing with no damage, but with Mikoto's magic, I guess it does amplify it more. So what's Haruhime's spell here? It's the same buff, but on to Aisha, maybe it's like plus two levels. I don't know. Yeah? Yo, big guy took one out. I, I think Aisha's about to cut the other guy's neck off. Tell Kaios again. Shit. Cut off, lop it off. I'm just waiting for the head to just fall down. This animation actually goes so hard. Oh, it just burst. It just. Did we even need to cut the other guy's head off if Hell Kaios is gonna disintegrate the entire thing? I think we won. Oh, look at her. Look at the flame still on her a bit. I think... Yo, Aisha is so cool. Aisha is so cool. Nonchalantly, she's on flames. Pours it on her. So... Oh. Big sis. Little sis. Still don't quite understand how, how did he may survive that. But it's almost as if the flames didn't even affect her. Like, she was just completely fine with it. Was it her... The rope that she wore. Cassandra should be apologizing. <laughs> she be like, I'm so sorry, Haruhime. <laughs> also, Mikoto is fine, right? Open your eyes. Thank fucking God. When she said that, as long as I sacrifice myself, we'll be like, we'll win. That, ugh, that part. I knew it though. That much you want to sacrifice these characters. But Ryu, I, I don't know. Something about Ryu saying all those lines in her flashback. Maybe she'll actually sacrifice herself to bring Belle back alive. Ugh, I don't know. I don't know. Did we get some kind of crazy loot from it or what? Because maybe not. I don't know. It just disappeared. But we have some time to relax, though. She just tired. What is it? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here's the loot. It's a super rare dragon liver. A lot of money. Can that, can that uh, pay off Hestia's debt, though? Do you think it could? I don't know. Hestia debt's like a run, like a full running on gag, though. Cassandra, don't jinx it. Don't jinx it. Don't jinx it. Please don't jinx it. Cassandra, why? Cassandra, why? <laughs> Is the banquet of tragedy still happening? Cassandra, please! We're still in the middle? It's not over? How many? I guess it's a banquet and banquet goes for a long time. You tell me. You're the prophecy girl. But you don't know. We definitely don't know. No? East. Yeah? Because if we went above, then it would be even worse. The life seeking sun. Maybe this is a way to avoid the premonition. She figured out the prophecy? You're still. No, 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 no. You guys should have realized by now. Cassandra has been right with that premonition and the prophecy the entire time. You guys didn't listen. That's why we're here. No. Really? Based on everything that's happened, you don't think her prophecy was real? No, logically, yeah, yeah, it makes sense to escape. But what Cassandra's saying, we should be gambling. Cassandra, come on! She's standing up for herself. Also, you should mention, haven't you seen all the shit that we just been through? Come on, like you don't believe me? Come on, I said there'd be a banquet of tragedy. But this time it's different. Let's face it. Technically, we're not running away. We're going face head into danger, but I get what she's trying to say. 
Daph. Hey, Cassandra. Hey, Cassandra, move. Hey, hey, girl, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Hey! Uh, hey? Uh, she knew it wouldn't hurt her. I, I don't I don't know. That was kind of cool, though. <laughs> She's trying to make a point. Okay, you made your point. <laughs> see, Daphne? I can see the future. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta listen now, right? You saw what it just happened. Okay, finally Cassandra's having her moment to shine. Oh, come on. But, but. Never mind. Okay, we're going east. But you, but you just said no one would be stupid enough to believe you, except us. But. But Cassandra believes in the prophecy. I get what she's trying to say, okay? I get what she's trying to say. It's a cool line. But I bet, according to her prophecy, if we did go up, something even worse would happen. So maybe this is the right decision. See, look what's happening to them. See, they started climbing and look. Aww. But it's kind of crazy that she wouldn't believe her. Even after all the bankrupt tragedy that's happened so far. That's been accounted for in the prophecy. Let's go, squad. All right, plot armor kicked in. We got some hope. We beat the floor boss. But Ryu, the fact that she had the flashback makes me think that she's actually going to sacrifice herself. But maybe plot armor can kick back again and then no one will be dead. And then we can all have a happy ending. Fingers crossed. But hey, if you stick around this song and if you enjoyed my reaction, please subscribe and check out the other videos and playlists on my channel for even more content. And until next time, take care.